You may not know my name, but I'm sure you've heard my drumming. I've played on over 150 film scores, and though you may not know who I am, you definitely know the sound of my drums. I started playing trumpet at nine years old. I started with melody and not rhythm. I started playing drums at about 12 years old. I taught myself completely by putting on headphones to my drum set. And by 16 years old or so, I pretty much knew that this was something that I really wanted to do and that I probably had the ability to do it. I never came here to show what I learned from here. I, I would come back to India and show what I kind of translated from here, what I digested from here. I've heard a lot of music from all over the world and I think figuring out how music from other parts of the world fit into cultures of other around the world really gives you a sense of the purpose of music. I've listened to hundreds of hours of Indian classical music and I get the essence of the tabla. There's a certain swagger on tabla that I think is very similar to a rock and roll drummer and I find connections like that that aren't really about we're speaking the same language, but we're kind of saying the same thing. So I've been very fortunate to play some of the best here. Technology started coming in when I really started hitting my peak with a lot of the work I was doing in the early 2000s. Composers would still hire live musicians and live drummers specifically for every level of the percussion score. There really weren't loop libraries then or sample libraries. You could just have a collection at the touch of a button of every instrument in the world. That's what started pushing a lot of musicians like myself out who had that kind of specialized approach of the music they play. Technology started giving permission for people to act in ways that weren't really honorable. And I think it's continued in all aspects of our lives to be able to do that. People can hide behind their technology. the way technology and music can make, make us avoid the hard things about learning an instrument. So we can kind of, you know, try and avoid these problems that are of conflict, of resolution in our social lives, but all we can do is really create distractions from them. We'll have to face them at some point. Unless the grid shuts down, unless you can't plug anything in anymore, I honestly don't think it's gonna happen. I don't see the masses coming back to organic music. I don't even know if that's what's needed. So maybe the organic way we commune is ultimately just realizing that we're all in this together and we really have no choice to be on this earth together and until you show me another one to go to, we gotta make it work somehow. <laughs>